Are you craving a trip on Space Mountain? Well, we've got the next best thing. Welcome to Disney Coast to Coast. Hey folks, and welcome to Disney Coast to Coast, the ultimate unofficial Disney fan podcast. I'm Jeff DePauly, and welcome to the House of Mouse headlines for the week of June 14th, 2020, brought to you by LaughingPlace.com, your up-to-date resource for the latest Disney news every day of the week. In this week's news, a Disneyland anniversary to remember, a construction milestone in Shanghai, some virtual fun from the Walt Disney Family Museum, and more. So let's get to it. Hear the latest news from the Walt Disney Company in today's House of Mouse headlines. If all goes to plan, the happiest place on Earth could reopen for its 65th anniversary. In case you didn't hear, this week the Disneyland Resort announced its proposed phased reopening plans that would see the Downtown Disney District reopen on July 9th, followed by Disneyland and Disney California Adventure on the very appropriate July 17th, and then Disney's Grand Californian and Paradise Pier Hotels on July 23rd. The Disneyland Hotel will reopen at a later date. Keep in mind that, at the time I'm recording this, these plans are tentative as they will need government approval. Ahead of these reopenings, the resort has temporarily paused new ticket sales, annual pass sales, and annual pass renewals. This is partially to accommodate a new reservation system that will be used to ensure that capacity limits are maintained. As we've seen at other parks, entertainments such as fireworks and parades will not be available during the initial reopening, but will return at a later date. Additionally, character meet-and-greets will not be offered, although characters will be in the park to entertain guests in new ways. After the announcement was made, Disney Parks Experiences and Products Chairman Josh DeMauro wrote in an open letter, We know it will take all of us working together responsibly to recapture the magic, adding, While certain aspects of your visit may change, I assure you the quality of our storytelling, magic of our experiences, and the caliber of our cast members has not. We recognize the trust that you have in the Disney brand, and we will continue to earn your trust every day. Over at Walt Disney World, the resort recently released new information about their hotel reopening and what changes guests can expect when they visit. First, as previously announced, several Disney Deluxe Villa Resorts will reopen on June 22nd, along with Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. When this happens, a room or dining reservation will be required in order to access the properties. For the check-in and check-out process, guests are encouraged to use the My Disney Experience app, which will allow them to skip a trip to the front desk. On top of that, the My Disney Experience app will have a new virtual chat with a resort cast member service starting June June 22nd for guests who need assistance. As for other changes, Bell services will be able to deliver luggage to rooms, but are unable to escort guests. Meanwhile, club-level service is temporarily unavailable at all Disney resorts, and in-room celebrations will not be offered at this time. Other offerings such as arcades, campfires, spas, the electrical water pageant, and more will also be temporarily unavailable. When the parks do reopen, Disney Transportation will be delivering guests from their resort to the parks and back, but with reduced capacity. This means that guests should plan ahead for travel delays using Disney Transportation. Unless you think that calling a minivan will help, sadly this will not be available during the initial phase of reopening. Luckily though, Disney's Magical Express service will be offered, transporting guests to and from the Orlando International Airport. With June 22nd now just a week away, you can expect to hear much more about changes at the Walt Disney Disney World Resort Hotels in the coming weeks. Another aspect of the Disney Parks experience that's being altered amid reopening are limited edition merchandise launches as well as other retail operations. New products and limited edition merchandise will now be available exclusively on Shop Disney for the time being. Also changing is that while pin trading will be available inside gift shops through Disney's pin boards, cast members will not be wearing lanyards with tradable pins. Finally, package delivery service to Disney resorts or to the front of the theme parks will be suspended, although guests can still have merchandise shipped to their home directly from a Disney gift shop. 
Due to civil unrest, Orange County, Florida instated a mandatory 10 p.m. curfew effective May 31st. With Disney Springs and much of the Walt Disney World Resort residing in Orange County, the shopping and dining district had been closing at 7 p.m. nightly in order to comply with the order and allow guests and employees time to return home before curfew. However, as of June 8th, the county-wide curfew was lifted and Disney Springs has adjusted their operating hours accordingly, opening from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. each day. By the way, with more shops and restaurants at Disney Springs continuing to reopen, more than 100 locations are now welcoming back guests. This week, one major Disney Parks project reached a notable milestone. With the installation of a new steel column, Shanghai Disneyland's Zootopia-themed land has officially begun vertical construction. As is a tradition, the first steel column was filled with signatures from leaders and developers designing the land. This includes cast members, leaders and representatives from the resort, the Administrative Commission of Shanghai International Resort, Shanghai Shendi Group, and Walt Disney Imagineering. When it opens, the Zootopia Land will fully immerse guests in the metropolis of Zootopia with new entertainment, merchandise, food and beverage offerings, and a new major attraction. However, with vertical construction just beginning, fans will still have to wait a while before it's all ready for us to enjoy. While the domestic Disney theme parks near reopening, the future is still uncertain for Disneyland Paris. That in part likely led to this week's announcement that the 5th annual Disneyland Paris Half Marathon Weekend would be postponed until Fall 2021. This year's races were set to take place September 24th through the 27th. This marks the second race scheduled for the European resort that has been cancelled after postponing what was to be the inaugural Princess Run this spring. Those who had already purchased entry for the races will have until June 19th to complete an electronic form declaring what they'd like to do with the rest of their booking. Otherwise, their entire reservation will be cancelled and refunded automatically. Out of respect for the Juneteenth holiday that celebrates the abolition of slavery in the United States, Hulu has decided to move the debuts of two of their series. While both Love, Victor and Taste the Nation were set to arrive on June 19th, the Love, Simon spinoff will now move up to Wednesday, June 17th, while Taste the Nation will premiere on June 18th. In a statement about the move, Hulu said, We are all part of the fight against injustice. We believe that Black Lives Matter and support those who are working to build a system based on equality. As a member of the Disney family, we are proud to support nonprofit organizations, including the NAACP, with $5 million donated to drive positive change. This June 19th, or Juneteenth, will mark 155 years since slavery was abolished in the United States. This date represents an important turning point for our nation and for human rights, and we believe that now, more than ever, it deserves to have its own day in the spotlight. For a limited time, audiences will be able to stream the 2018 Fox film The Hate You Give for free on digital platforms. In a tweet, the film's director and producer, George Tillman Jr., said, I hope the film provides a bit of understanding. Our story is a reminder to never be afraid to raise our voice in the name of justice. We must stand up for what we believe. The time for change is now. As of this recording, The Hate You Give is currently available to rent for free on Google Play, Vudu, Amazon Prime, and iTunes. Are you about ready for a good cry? Well, you're in luck, because ABC's The Wonderful World of Disney is set to feature the tear-jerking classic Toy Story 3. The beloved film will air on Wednesday, June 17th at 8 p.m. This will mark the fifth film to air as part of the Wonderful World of Disney revival, with previous installments featuring Moana, Thor The Dark World, Up, and Big Hero 6. Of course, if you want to relive the fun, adventure, and emotion of Toy Story 3 right now, the movie is among the many Pixar titles available to stream on Disney+. During its temporary closure, the Walt Disney Family Museum has continued to share Walt's story across social media and virtual platforms. This week, those efforts included the premiere of The World of Tomorrow, a new virtual exhibition featuring works created by the museum's global community. Inspired by each artist's vision for a world of tomorrow, the diverse selection of paintings, drawings, photographs, and 3D objects are now on display to the public in a 3D rendered virtual gallery space. The Walt Disney Family Museum received hundreds of contributions from adult and teen artists in the Bay Area and all around the world, including India, the UK, Spain, Finland, Romania, Nicaragua, and Australia. 
Submissions were entered in a juried pool, with just over 175 artists' works selected to be displayed in a virtual recreation of the museum's Diane Disney Miller Exhibition Hall. You can check out the World of Tomorrow Virtual Community Art Exhibition at waltdisney.org slash W-O-T. This month marks the 50th anniversary of the Walt Disney Archives, and to celebrate the occasion, D23 will premiere the new documentary, Adventure Through the Walt Disney Archives. The film, hosted by legendary producer and past Disney Coast to Coast guest Don Hahn, will premiere on D23.com exclusively for D23 Gold members on June 27th. Adventure Through the Walt Disney Archives gives viewers a look into rarely seen parts of the extensive Disney archives. Directed by John Gleam, the film features new interviews with Disney Executive Chairman Bob Iger, Marvel Studios' Kevin Feige, Pixar's Pete Docter, film historian Leonard Maltin, and many more. Starting June 15th at 10 a.m. Pacific Time, D23 Gold and Gold family members will be able to register for tickets for Adventure Through the Walt Disney Archives. And if you're not already a paid D23 member, fans can sign up for an annual Gold membership for $99.99 or an annual Gold family membership for $129.99. That's going to do it for the news this week, so let's get to this week's Twitter poll where I asked you folks, Artemis Fowl is being released on Disney+. Plus. Will you be watching? Your options were yes, no, or what is Artemis Fowl? And last place, with only 22% of the votes, was no. 24% of you asked, what is Artemis Fowl? And yes is the winner with 54% of the votes. Do you agree with these results? Cast your vote in the Twitter poll every week by following Disney CTC on Twitter. That's D-I-Z-N-E-Y. YCTC on Twitter. Now, folks, if you haven't listened to this past Wednesday's episode of Disney Coast to Coast, be sure to check it out as we celebrate the 10th anniversary of World of Color. And this upcoming Wednesday is all about the historical accuracy of Disney's Newsies. The easiest way to make sure you don't miss any of the magic is by making sure you're subscribed on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Wherever you search, don't forget, it's Disney with a Z, coast to coast. And don't forget that members of the DCTC community can take part in this month's live stream Q&A taking place on June 18th. To join the DCTC community and gain rewards, visit patreon.com slash DisneyCTC. That's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash D-I-Z-N-E-Y-C-T-C. Other than that, folks, have a magical day. Bye! Thanks for listening to Disney Coast to Coast. Have a magical day! <laughs> Disney Coast to Coast is produced and hosted by Jeff DePauly. Learn more about the podcast and become a supporter at DisneyCoastToCoast.com.